Alright, I am here. Right, I'm dying man on the couch. Gotcha. I think you already talked to him. I did. Sorry, my desk is a little bit cluttered. It happens. Oh yeah, that's for a side quest later. Okay. without sin, cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? <laughs> That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Hello. Thing okay. mm. Well, I know who sleeps where. Yeah. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, Obviously. but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Yeah. Eh, Nonsense. She's nothing but. 
Okay. She's got issues she's still trying to get over, and so she's locked herself in the bathroom. Jealousy, really. You see, I was the family favorite, and I'm the successful one. And as you may have noticed, she's obviously starved for attention. You notice the voice actor? That's Azula. I know. That's Azula. It's creeping me out a little bit. Yeah. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. Like what brings idea. you to Santa Monica? Hmm. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu <laughs> scoundrel? <laughs> Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. I have a feeling that, uh... <laughs> Everything's gonna be bad when I do a Nosferatu run. Yeah, this. whenever you do a Nosferatu run, I'm pretty sure she's gonna hate your guts. I don't even know how you're gonna get in there. Okay, so why do you He meddles in him? my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. <laughs> Want me to find him and kill him? It's, it's either Then can you put the word out That you've got no feud with him Or Hey, want me to find him and kill him? We can totally do that We can totally do kill Kill is nice I'm not sure the Camarilla would find that An acceptable method of dealing with one's rival And right now I very much need their Aww. approval To become officially recognized As the legitimate administrator of this city Man. Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Man. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. Ooh. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug... But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest the in. The best Killing? mission of the whole entire game! No, I can't do option number four. Aaron is too interested in her. Mm. She's intriguing. Yeah. A spirit? You mean like a ghost? I'm totally down with ah, ghosts. I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll get rid of a ghost. Rumor oh, is yeah. that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. I can do that. Oh, nice. Right into the roof. We just fixed that yesterday. Welcome, Charles. Um, what if I can't find one or it's many, many pieces? If you have to it's tear the building Woman apart, and do so. Azula Three construction Avatar crews have already Avatar. refused to go back to work because they've been spooked, so to speak. Okay, so how do I fight a ghost, because that's some pretty prudent information I'm going to need. You don't. They're perfectly harmless. Bull. I call bull on that. I have died oh, many I fully times intend in that to hotel. Do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. I can respect that. And appreciate- oh look, I didn't even read that and I started saying it. <laughs> yeah, I can respect that. Before yeah, does I forget, the audio sound take this. Okay? The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Thanks, it was super expensive. And also it's on podcasting mode right now, so it should be able to pick both of us up pretty good. Boom. Yeah, okay, if you'll excuse it. me, I've got situations to set straight. Right, yeah, you take care of that. I'm going to fight a ghost because it's way more interesting. 
Hey, can I knock on the door? She doesn't want to be bothered right now. I can look at her computer. Oh. Uh, I think I remember the password. Nope, that's definitely not. Type in duckling. Nope. Damn it. Nope, that isn't it. Thanks! I spent a while on it, mostly on the hair. Amadeus, maybe. Nope. I tried. Yeah. Guns don't kill people. Guns don't kill people, too. Girls, oh, why, wrong. thank you. Tongue. Huh. What a disgusting name. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you can definitely tell who's the Ventru and who's the Malkavian here, huh? Yes, I am. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> that's not. That's not. Yeah, you're gonna accidentally press the wrong button in elevators a lot. That's not funny. Oh, it reminds you of Buffy? I don't know. Maybe it was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I just wanna go fight a ghost. Yeah. That is that is that is my goal right now. I, I mean, you don't a fight a ghost. The g uh, ghost kicks your ass. I'm pretty oh. sure. Oh, I want to find the ghost. Where's the sewer? How do I get in the sewer? Where's the sewer at? The sewer. Let me in the sewer. I'm gonna bite some rats because I need some blood. Crouch, bit good boy. I got you. Tell Winter I love her very much. <laughs> She's a good good girl. Look, dinner. Rat biter! If you're gonna make this a thing, then I'm just gonna do it more. Rat sucker! I'm gonna keep doing it. Don't care. Uh, no, it'll be, um, keep going, uh, try- I guess follow the pipes. No, uh, I'll tell you whenever you reach it, there will be a gate, turn, turn, no, turn around, turn no, around. I'm looking, oh my god. Ocean's Hotel, I am here, so, I need to go back to the right. Because I'm looking at it there, then I just need to go right. You think Winter just scoffed at you? Yeah, that's exactly where I need to go. I need to access my area. Alright, so the maps in the sewers are actually pretty confusing. Right here. Yeah. Okay, or at least they were confusing, confusing to me. That's not confusing. Pretty easy, actually. Ladder. Nope. You actually climb. Neat. Hey, it looks so bad. Even my dog is disgusted, said Chels. No, you're beautiful. Yay. And the front door key.
it's going to be one a, of those missions. It's a big, giant jump scare and get ready for oh, it. Oh, I'm going to hate this so much. Did you get the key? Yes, I got the key. It's one of those missions. I'm going to hate this one. Oh, why not, Charles? Just give me a little kiss. I should give you a hug. Oh, the kiss. That chandelier was expensive, sir or madam, or neither. That looks very expensive, actually. Is that gold? That might be gold. This is gonna shake neck. Oh. That's not creepy. Ow! You have blood heal, right? I do not. I'm gonna have a bad time, aren't I? Uh, boy, howdy. How does one get blood heal? Uh, I think it's. I don't have it. Um, I'm pretty sure Tremere is supposed to have blood heal. Blood strike, blood purge, blood shield, blood salvo, and blood boil. Uh, check, Don. Oh, Brain wipe, suicide, there. possession, mass suicide. Auspex. Worthless. I swear to you. Oh, son of a duck! Okay, you're gonna have to avoid those. I would if I even knew where they were coming from. So far I've got vases and telephones to worry about. Well, that doesn't look, you know, bad at all. Oh, and there's wind. That son of a duck! Mm. <laughs> Save. Don't forget to save. Oh crap, you're right. I'm gonna have You to will die. Right now. No, don't delete. Stop it. You don't have to name them. You you don't have to name them. I know I don't have to, but I'm going to. Oh! What? You had me excited for a fight. Maybe a bite. Oh, my health regenerates. Oh, just go over there. Screw you, I heal. Bring it on. Bring your bases. Oh my god, stop screwing around. <laughs> Dude! I love this place. I hate this place. Oh, well, there's no way even with blood buff I'm gonna get that. so much. <laughs> My hands are getting sweaty because of this. <laughs> they didn't tell me there was a horror part in this game. <laughs> uh, this is Bane we were talking about. He is the master of screwing around. I am. Hello? Frightening child. Frightening child indeed! Oh crap! Nope, nope, nope. Ow! It's a vampire game, my dude, said Chels. Of course it's gonna have horror. I'm to... Oh no, there's throwables everywhere. Child severed head found in hotel laundry room. Yup. 
Well, thank you for going dark on me. I will run. Next week on Ghost Adventure. Next week on I Want You to Die. Okay, that's that door. So let's go this way. No. No. Do it. It's the laundry room. Do it. It's gonna have a severed head. Do it. Don't throw a washing machine at me. That would hurt. Boiler room. Come on. I'll go. I'm ready. Are you? I got a knife. Cut you up. Dances like a Fortnite reject. Why are we going deeper? <laughs> that woman doesn't sound like she's in pain. You know what? I never noticed that guy there. I always just go head straight through there without. You can't. You can't hurt him. He's a ghost. I wonder if that's something they add added with the unofficial patch. Oh yeah, the thing that wasn't here, which now is. Oh. That's why you turned on the power, my guy. I'm in the elevator, the place where everything bad happens. Hi, Rona. Welcome. I convinced my husband to play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Never. If I never get closer, it will never hit me. You'll just have to dodge. Dodge! What? How do I dodge that? Never peekaboo back into the room where crazy crap is going down, or you'll die like the blonde one. I know that Beckett is your husband. I I don't like Beckett. And yeah, the ocean house is so annoying. It's my favorite part. My The worst part is the um, sewers. Mmm. I'm always just running through and screaming when inanimate objects get thrown at me. Can't reach me over here. Ha! It doesn't even phase me anymore. I think the last playthrough that I did, I just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, another child chopped up like firewood. Well, I know who the bad ghost is. Yeah, I want nothing to do with an elevator right now. Fucking rude. I didn't press it. Yeah, no. They, listen, they're just being helpful. Actually, 
think this house is based off of The Shining. Oh no, father was a murderer. Anything in these? No. no I don't like this. What else can I throw? Nope. Get out. I did. You want to go check? Yeah, I think they're almost here. I keep hearing my own footsteps. dog toy, the tiny little car toy just rolled out of the room. What? The tiny go car toy just rolled out of the room and I'm terrified of it. And it'll be fine. Can I pick it up? No. No, it's just, it's just, it's just here now. Go away. Oh, oh, you're helping me. Okay. Yay, they got pizza. I replaced it. I said, if you can't find this one pepperoni pizza, get a different pepperoni pizza. That's fine. Okay. Um... No, I didn't mean to do blood buff. Dead gamut. Just lost blood. Okay, what is this? Murder suicide. Ocean House killer possibly responsible for Inferno. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Not breaking bottles. Make sure you're keeping up the chat, by the way. I don't know where my phone went. It's right there. Oh, right <laughs> next to me. I'm gonna be making dinner. Everyone be nice to my husband. Everyone be super nice to my husband and show him how to play, but no spoilers because no, he's no. never played this before. I really haven't. And I'm gonna go make dinner for my BB and me, and I'll be back. I will be screaming. Just removing all of the throwable objects off of tables so that they cannot become weapons for me later. How do I get out of here? Never! the delivery shoot the mini elevator they use for just uh, no there's plenty of it 
Oh no, it's a kitchen. I plan to. I want to help you. Okay, um, inventory, diary. Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week-long holiday here in Santa Monica, and Ed has booked us a room for the hotel's grand opening. It's a wonderful place, almost magical. Children have been swimming all afternoon. Ugh. The first two days have been almost perfect, except that Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received from my mother. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Ed can be sweet, but sometimes his jealousy can get the better of him. Hopefully he'll feel better tomorrow. The sun is out today, not a cloud in the sky. Ed seems a little on my edge, keeps guessing at who my new boyfriend is. Silly Ed, I see where this is going. There's a panic for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is in a dark mood. Don't know what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. The only time he seemed to brighten up whenever he was speaking to the groundskeeper. Boys and their tools of death and murder. We only have two days left, and thank God we're finally going home. Ed won't speak to me or the children. I found him more than once in the bathroom holding the locket and staring at it. I'm afraid he's suffering some sort of breakdown. I told him that we can go home, but he just shakes his head. He won't look at me. I just want to go home. Before my murdering boyfriend tries to murder me and my children. And then himself. Husband? Yep. Husband. Even though she said the locket was from her mother. Yep. Ed, just... Oh, I would say dying a fire, but you already handled that for me. Ah. Uh, Ed left early this morning, and I haven't seen him since. If I haven't seen him in another... If I haven't seen him in another hour, I'm going to call the hotel manager. Against my better wishes, Ed Jr. went to look for him downstairs in the basement. I'm going to send Tiffany down to fetch him. If... Wait, someone is knocking at the door. Oh my god, Ed is Ed covered in blood. Who could have guessed? Coming to kill me. Who would have seen the signs? Locked myself in the bathroom. Oh no, he's going to murder me like he murdered everyone. He's gone crazy. No dare. He keeps shouting we'll be together forever and he'll never let me go. Because he's crazy. Someone please help Lighting trails off at the end of the page. Because he murderized you. Murderized? You know, the signs were just, just, it, there was no signs of this. It was just completely out of the blue. Like, Ed just lost it all together. There's, there's no, ugh. Oh, don't worry. Ed, Ed burned himself. You know, kill it with fire. He already handled that for me. But, you know, I'm going to kill him with I guess ghost fire now? How do you kill a ghost? Like, what happens to a ghost after you kill them a second time? He's coming. He's coming? Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to be anywhere near this. Oh, there's so much stuff in this room. Perfectly manly, hiding in the chute. Yeah, she took the time. Is it going to stop? Hello? Stops whenever you leave, because he had to bash the door down with pots. Because that's a thing you can do with pots. I'm gonna fall through this right time. Be careful. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to be careful.
I wasn't doing that before, but now, since you've said it, I'm going to be careful. <laughs> Thank you. Truly, a real help. Keep looking. Yes, I will do that as well. Thank you for telling me to do the thing I was already doing. Oh, no. That ghost tried to squash me with an elevator. Rude. Oh, damn it. It didn't hit you? No. I saw it coming from a mile off. It's an elevator shaft. It's a ghost. Of course it's going to try to kill me with an elevator. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. Elevator. <laughs> I mean, it isn't a very red room. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. Elevator. Um. Ooh, no. Oh, yes. I made it. Upstairs. From two of them. Stop it! I need light to see! You need to stop busting them next to my head! <sighs> I hate you so much! Just trying to get into rooms. And they're just trying to kill you! Oh. Okay, I wanted to listen to the jukebox, but that's fine too. You can close it on me. Down! You stupid face thrower! Ow! You piece of crap! Stop throwing vases at me! <laughs> mm. Okay, the pizzas are in the oven. I have a knife. I love the way he said, stop it! <laughs> I'm sad I missed the elevator scene. Stop it! Ah! So much stop getting stuck on pieces of broken vase. <laughs> oh no, that was gonna be the throw of me! Throw it! A sunlit vase? What happened? I don't know. Did my arm just get burned off? Because that's what it felt like. Jeez. This game is so good, Rona. Yeah, I love this game. Sweet mercy. I love smiling. Oh, 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 that was a door. I also love the noises that my husband play, uh, makes make, uh, playing this game. You did this to me. Yeah, but you love it, don't you? I don't like this. Uh, Why is there a crying it. baby? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the crying child? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, don't worry about it. This is making me laugh and I already have a headache, but I can't help but laugh at him. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I really <laughs> appreciate that, Chels. Really, just... I'll pillar of support there. Oh, that, that, that's a full-on freaking door. Things that do aggravated damage. Fire, claws, and pottery. What? <laughs> that's what Rona said. <laughs> pottery, yeah. Mm -hmm. Never thought that'd be the thing that would do me in, but apparently so. There's a person crying. Oh, yay, you made it. Made it where? Go up those... The, it's a ramp. It's those boards. You jump on them. It's a ramp. Ah. You're just bad at jumping. Okay, nope, 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 nope. That's fire, fire bad, fire bad, fire bad! Ow, son of a duck. Ow, son of a duck. Ow, son don't of a die. duck. Don't die, don't die, 
you're about to die. I know this. What the? I'm gonna stay here until I regenerate health. Yep. This is nice. This is peaceful, wonderful, beautiful. Nice calming music. You know, the last time you're ever gonna see daylight ever again. Oh, you're right. I'm gonna soak this up while I can. Oh, sweet sunlight. Except it's, you know, simulated sunlight. Yeah. Illusionary sunlight. Stop crying! It's day, it's sunny, there's not a cloud in the sky. Oh, right. That's when that happened. I guess you do have reason to cry because he's murderizing you. And the music stopped. Wow, your health regen is like super slow. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna be here a little while. At least find the necklace. Don't pick it up though. It's over there. Don't throw anything at me. No, it's not gonna throw anything at you. Just don't pick that up until your health is up. Because as soon as you pick it up, you're back in the. Yeah. I don't like this music. This music just creeps me out. No, the music that played whenever you got up here. I, I know. Whenever you first got here, it was nice. It was comforting. It was beautiful. Now it's just like, hey, you're in a nice scene, horror music. I haven't but been here that long. What clan are you this round? Uh, okay, so this is his first time playing, and he took the personality quiz. He's a Tremere. Yep. I'm going to make people explode as soon as possible. Did you say? Don't worry about it. It's Malkavian gibber gibberish in the background. Malkavian gibberish? Mm-hmm. I mean, Malkavians seem to know what's up. Yeah, I know, but it's like, it's like nothing. But if you can it. decipher it. Yeah, maybe. Rona says Tremere was her first, too. I, mine was, my first was Malk. Well, the reason I went with Tremere is because... I'm actually trying to play portray a character that I made growing up called Aaron Belmont, and he's an insane- Your avatar right now exactly. that I made for you. Yeah, it's super happy and fun and wonderful, and he's, he's kind of crazy, only a little bit. Yeah, what, I suggested that he not play Malkavi in his first run. Yeah, because I didn't want too many spoilers. Thank you very much, I spent huh? forever on the hair. I know. Okay. That should be enough health. Oh, uh, what? Ex Wait, look in the closet. I think there's a thing in there. I'm not sure. No, there's not. Okay. I retrieved it. Now I gotta take it. Reminds you of Salem? Uh, you mean from I Ruby? I hate that door. I hope this is the girl that's opening the door for me. Oh no! Oh, good, no fall damage. Um, you just have to get up to that one. Yeah, yeah, so you have to climb up the ladder and then jump from the ladder. Ah, uh, you look like the son of Salem. Apparently, Aaron probably. looks like uh, like uh, one of uh, like he could be the son of Salem from Ruby. He probably could. Jump over this because I don't trust those stairs. Would if it would let me. I'm gonna go down these stairs. And jump. Ah. You out. can't really see it, but he has like a red braid, like a red streaked braid in the back. That's what I want. Um. Okay. Uh, like, is there nothing else I can do here to help free the girl? You did it. You got the amulet. Okay. Bye. Never coming back to you again. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>